I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but we gonna make it work. I always make it work. Hey everyone, it's the streamer Simone here and welcome welcome back to my channel. And in this vlog, we're actually starting to set up the nursery because I'm currently 28 weeks pregnant and baby boy is gonna be here in June. So I just wanna get his area together. It's not gonna be like completely it. So I'm gonna do like a little DIY where I'm gonna use like a dresser that we already have. We're gonna be getting a new dresser and then it's gonna be an extra dresser. I'll do more stuff when I do my nest with me. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can follow my journey, thumbs up the video. I'm gonna show you the new dresser that I got from Hernis. They sent it over to me. So thank you so much for Hernis for sponsoring this portion of the video. Bay is actually finishing up putting it together. It took him about two hours by himself. <laughs> but it's a beautiful new Lux dresser that's going to replace the dresser that we have. A DIY kind of push together dresser situation that we have going on that I'm going to show you in a second. All right. So here is the before. These are the two mall dresses, the four mall Ikea dresses. I think it is out of not even out of stock i think there was a recall on them so i don't think they even have them anymore but i just pushed two of them together to make like a whole dresser situation for us and now we're gonna put it into mila's room so that we can put our new dresser here all right so here is the dresser and we switched it out so this is the dresser by Hernis. I will have it linked down below. It is called the Helio Sunlit Flower Embossed Pattern Dresser. It is 63 inches long and I'm loving the texture and design on the front. It's giving very, very luxe, you guys. First and foremost, it's a total different experience right now with this little level part that's on the top. Just the whole look of it having like flowers is so beautiful. So this part right here has little drawers built in where you can put like little stuff and then I love that it has this like other part up here where you can kind of stack things and there are six drawers on the bottom three on the top so in total there are nine drawers and this is how you go ahead and pull it out it's very spacious and I love the in-depth part of it as well and the legs are also gold it also has a nice slim design as well i feel like it would fit in most spaces i live in a small apartment and this one fits pretty nicely it will add an elegant touch to any space in your home you could even use it out in the living room if you want to but i think it's a nice look for our bedroom like look at the before and like now after look good from over there yeah with stuff in it and on it, it's gonna be so nice. And this part is actually not mounted in. There are like little sticky things underneath that keeps it in place so it does not move. We're actually going to be decorating this, putting the TV up now that we have it in its designated space and like mounting it up on the wall. And then I'm gonna show you how you can easily decorate this and organize it to get the maximum space and use out of this. It's great storage, it fits full size jeans and pants and hair. All right, so the TV is all up. The TV hung over it perfectly. is the finished look let me know what you think about the new Lux dresser i'll have it linked below with the coupon code so you can get your hands on it it was loving the new added addition to the bedroom is really going with the vibes and everything like loving it you hear me mm -hmm. you hear me say roll it, roll it up I roll it up. up. Oh, hey, hey guys. Hey. So we're about to head into Walmart, Walmart home section to look for a couple of things just to see what I can find, you know. Apartment shopping on a budget. It's um actually the next day, you know, I'm gonna take my time trying to get everything together. So that's where we're about to go right now and see what we can find. I really want to get another curtain rod as well. So let's see. Here, okay, let's see. Oh, I actually have this basket already. Look for some storage. See what they got. It's too big. Mm, I have some draw organizers on the way, but I still want to see if I could find something. Ooh, the home edit. That's not bad. Mm, oh, this one is nice here. Walmart actually has a good selection of rods for great prices. 
Look at these prayer rods. Even that one is nice. $14.88 is a good price for these by Mainstay. And then there's a couple of other ones here. This is a nice texture here. Some nice ones to choose from. And then it gets even more inexpensive. So the one that I came in here for is that one to match the one I already have. And I actually found the lot. Wait, no, this is not it. What the heck? Oh my gosh, they don't have it. This is not it. Uh, is it hiding? Is this one right here? Is this black? No, all the black ones are gone. Y'all, I was not thinking last week when I came and got the matte black one. There were so many of them. And I should have just picked up two because I need two. And now I'm back. I don't have no more of the matte black round ones. It's kind of pissing me off. But it's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. I want to see if there's any like kids curtains that are black out for Mila. This one is okay. That price is not bad. Let me find out it's the first come first serve up in here too, y'all. Let me find out Walmart. Okay, this is not bad. Two panel, blackout, but it's gray. There's no other colors. Oh, there's a pink one. Hmm, we'll see. Let's take this. These vases are cute. Very trendy. What's over here? Alright, I don't need any of that. smile these little neon lights are cute but it's so little i mean the price is a good price if i did this i would probably do it in mila's room hustle that's cute all right i'm looking for like a little mirror for mila's room i might look in home goods though see what they got i think i want that one over there but someone's looking at it all right so those two ladies just took all of the mirrors and i wanted one but they took every single last one. That pissed me off. And I was standing here first, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna- Babe, I came over here for the skinny mirror. They came and took every single last one. It was six of them. They took every single last one. Those two women that were just walking right there and they heard me talking to them, talking to them, selling my vlog. Oh well. They took, and I was standing here first. They just came. Oh, oh my God, it's six. Why you ain't say nothing? What am I gonna say? They, I was standing here about to go to it, trying to be courteous not to get them on camera. I got monkey here. Not to get them on camera. And they just, I didn't know, how was that person that they was gonna take all six? Why yeah. All six they took? The mainstay skinny mirrors. I just wanted one little one for Mila's room. I might just stop into home. That pissed me off low key. Whatever. On a better note, let's look at what these rugs are talking about. I just need a nice little rug. Hmm. This is a play mat. I don't want a play mat. This size might be too big too. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, when did Walmart get so expensive? I wasn't expecting this. I need something soft under my feet. Wait, okay, this is a runner and all. Hmm. All right. So none of the rugs are hitting for me in here, and I need softness, like. So I think I'm gonna check home goods. <sighs> no, I don't want that. Okay, home goods. Okay, we're in home goods. Just checking out the plant pots. Oh, this one is actually not bad, babe. You think that plant I have could fit? Oh, but then we need another one to match it. Oh, there's the other one. That's not bad. I don't know if it it fit though. What is this? Acrylic cart? Oh, it's a, it's a bar cart. This is nice. Not here for that. Stay focused. Abstract painting. Not home goods having a nice black one for $16.99. A couple of dollars extra. That pissed me off. I should go bring the other one back here. Oh, but that one is, doesn't widen out as much. Hmm. Let's look at the bigger ones. 
I don't feel too bad anymore because it doesn't have the size I'm looking for. There's a bunch of rugs. Y'all know how in these stores be. It be messy because it's an apartment store. I'm a digger, so I'm liking more of patterns in here opposed to the one in Walmart. This is a nice pattern, but I need it to go with what I'm trying to do. Hmm. And I also want it to be a little soft under my feet. Just a little. Ooh, this is soft. I'm not having any luck. Oh my gosh. God help. Please help me. Home Goods had a kids section, but I think they got rid of it because it's like a kids decor section. I'm not seeing it. So I'm just going to check Burlington just to see any last finishing touches. And if I can't find it, it's a wrap. All right, this Burlington is a hot mess, but sometimes you can find treasures. Oh, Lord. This is worse than home goods. Let's see. All right, this rug is on sale. Let's see. Is it too big, but it's not soft. It's rough. No wonder it's on sale. That's a bath rug. Why is that there? Hmm. Y'all trying to trip me. Uh, this is a kitchen rug. This is the size I need. This one is soft, but it's pink. I don't want that. Child. Too girly. This one feels nice. All right, so there's actually a nice selection of curtains in here, surprisingly. Let's see. This one is how much? $20. Okay, and it's like the neatest part. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> and then they just have a few curtain rods here. I'm not really seeing anything I like, but the prices are nice. Hey guys, so it is the next day. You've seen I didn't have that much luck <laughs> in those stores, but today I actually ran into Kohl's and I was lucky enough to find an accent rug that I feel like will fit perfectly, which I'll show you guys after. So now we're gonna get started on removing the stuff from right here and getting into the DIY baby changing station, baby changing dresser, whichever you wanna call it. I decided to not get an actual change table. I had one with my daughter. I could have done that but I decided to repurpose switching out the dressers, the big dresser here, and then she had that small Ikea dresser you see right here. I think they discontinued the mall dressers so I'll try to link one that has the same measurements and that's similar but like I emptied it out. It's still in um, decent condition and it's sturdy so that's the most important thing. So I'm gonna use this dresser. It's small. I can stand over it. It's a good height. Let me show you how we do that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I mean, it doesn't feel bittersweet at all because I barely sit around this and do my makeup or anything like that. It just literally holds my stuff. So you're probably wondering, okay, Shreem, what you're gonna do with all of these things? Um, I have opened up space here. I'm gonna kind of consolidate these things and put it there. And then these shelves actually come with drawers. I have some space. I'm just gonna consolidate it and move it over. Since I don't utilize the vanity as much, I um, live in a two bedroom apartment in New York. So I didn't wanna put the baby in my daughter's room, just changing him at night or at all wee hours of the morning. I didn't want to disturb her as she slept because she does go to school and I just wanted him to be nearby. It's gonna be like a bedside shared nursery in here with my husband and I, with the baby since my husband and I are gonna be dealing with him as a newborn and out. So until we move, then he'll have like his own space, but he'll be okay, it's a little baby. <laughs> okay, so this is DB4. And this is how it looks in the space. Just ignore everything else. I have to organize that. Okay, so obviously to make this a changing dresser, we need a changing pad. So a changing table would already come with a changing pad. So since this is like the DIY portion of it, getting a pad separately that you know you can purchase 
and then also the other stuff that we're gonna get into. So I did get this changing pad off of Amazon. It came like wrapped up in a plastic and you have to let it kind of expand for about 24 hours. So I let it expand to its fullest potential. And then it also comes with a cover and then the straps to strap baby in with some Velcro on there as well. I really like this cover. It's so soft and velvety and I feel like the baby is gonna be very comfortable on it. And in the back, there's also like little grippies that's gonna help help it to stay and grip onto whatever surface you put this on. You could put it on a regular changing table or like what I'm doing on the dresser. I did measure this, so it actually does fit, but I'm gonna tuck the parts, the buckles underneath until he gets here. That's not really needed right now. And then I just kind of push it to the back. You can see it fits perfectly on there. And this one also comes in the white um, cover. I'm gonna link it below. But I got like the light gray color. I feel like I just wanted that contrast since the, the dresser is all white. Okay, so if you wanna stop right here, you can stop right here. This is like the basis of the changing dresser or changing table station. But you know me, I'm gonna spew it up. The necessary part is the pad for the baby with the buckles and then you want some sort of storage. So if you're gonna have a change the table it'll have like different storage but we're doing draws and that's the purpose of the whole dresser idea because I have minimal space any little thing helps but it's very very deep but you can also find other dressers that are deep and then they even sell dressers made with the built-in changing table top that is actually a changing dresser so the next thing I want to add is a rug all right after my huge little hunt I finally found a rug that I really like and like I said earlier I picked this one up at at Kohl's when I popped in there today. So I'm also gonna try my very best to link it below, which I'm sure they had a lot and other colors as well. So this is the tag. It is by Sonoma and it was $29.99. And this size is 27 inches by 45 inches. It is an accent rug. It's super soft, machine washable, which is very important, especially when you have a baby. It's stain resistant, which I thought was very cool. Superior softness, fade resistance, and it was tested for harmful substances. So it is actually soft. It's not super, super soft, like meaning like plush plush, but it's like that good soft that in between your toes is still gonna feel good. So the back of it is like a mauve pink, but that's not gonna be shown. He's a baby boy, it's not gonna be shown at all. This is how it looks. And it's a little longer than the width of the dresser, which I, I kept in mind when looking for one because I don't want it to look smaller than the dresser. So let's take off this tag. Cause first let's size it before we take off the tag just in case I need to return it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. It's working already. You can see the vision. I'm taking off the tag. It's the perfect soft. I love this rug. <laughs> so for right now, I'm just gonna keep it at the forefront. I wanna tuck it a little. I mean, I can also keep it out, but I wanna tuck it a little so it doesn't move at all. So I don't have to get like the carpet grippies. I'm gonna wait until my husband comes. He's at work right now. So I'm not doing any like the heavy lifting and stuff. I could push things like this was easy to push. But when he comes home, I'm gonna ask him to lift up the dresser and I'm gonna slide it under a little, just a little so it doesn't move. But for right now, Y'all get the illusion, like it's actually pretty perfect. I'll just push it down a little, woo. And then it'll start to, it's not too crinkle. So plush, but not overly plush. Looks perfect there. Like I said, I'm gonna push it under when Bay comes home. Opposed to just throwing everything in here, I wanna organize it, keep everything together. Hey everyone, so it is a couple days later. You know how that go. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish with this DIY dresser baby changing station. And something that I did wanna add to the dresser are organizers. So I did find some organizers off of Amazon. It came in a pack of 16. I got a pack of 16. And I know I might not use all of them for the baby's dresser, but um, I wanna ha at least have enough. And then I could also use some in my daughter's Room. So it comes with different sizes. This is the biggest size here. Comes folded up like this. Then you open it up and then you put the part at the bottom. And it's by this brand here. I'm gonna link it down below if you're interested. And you just pop it inside. And they had different colors to choose from, like white, black, gray, beige, but I feel like the gray just kind of goes with the whole theme that I have going for baby boy. This is the biggest size. I think this is the 11 by five and I measured in the dresser. And then there is a smaller size here, comes with a zipper. 
zip it here, little cube. And then there's like a longer one, like half the size of the bigger one. This is like an overview of how I kind of want to have it set up in the draw. The organization would make it so much easier, especially since I don't have anything on the sides. Like I don't have like a baby cart or anything, which I could get, but I feel like this would just kind of make it be a cohesive look, have it hidden away. couple of items here that I'm gonna start putting in the organizers this is not everything because I don't have the ointment and everything but just to you know start it up So this is what I got so far. Like I said, I don't got everything for him just yet. And I'm going to be doing more organization once I do the nesting, the nest with me, preparing for him more closer to due date. I might not even keep that because this is for travel. But I got the nappies here, like the bird cloth. I have some wipes here and I have all his newborn diapers. And then in the back, I did store some extra diapers and some extra wipes because this drawer is very deep and wide. And this would be very much needed when changing him. And then and I just would have like some change of clothes, some swaddles, passies and things like that. Like I said, I don't have everything and everything is not here. <laughs> and then I could have clothes, more clothes, extras and stuff in the third drawer and I have more organizers. So I'm really loving the organizers. They fit perfectly, they're very deep and they help a lot with just making it look neater in the drawers. I'm gonna put the baby changing pad back on top. I moved it to just organize. Did also want to add a mirror here. Asked my husband to mount a nail here. Very, very sturdy. So in this case, I did shop my home. I had an extra Ikea mirror. I'll try to find this exact name for this mirror. I think it's the, oh, it's the Lang. Lang Sun, the really small white plain one. I had it in my daughter's room and now she has a different mirror. So this was kind of like in storage. Now I'm just gonna utilize it for over the baby's dresser. Look at how perfect that looks. Yeah, I'm loving it already. You see the mirror is just like perfect and cohesive with the whole look of it. I'm loving it. It's like the perfect size. Another thing that I did get from Amazon were these wall decals to kind of spew up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do with the wall decal. So it comes like rolled up. It's for baby boy. And I might not use every single thing on here. Like a jungle theme a little bit. I definitely like that. So I'm kind of just gonna play around with it to see how I want it. I'm gonna put up a picture of how it's advertised on Amazon, but you can literally like do it how you want. I'm not gonna use all of them. Oh, this giraffe is really big. I like the koala. I think I might 
utilize the koala on the tree. It also comes with like a little sample, I guess, to show like how it would stick. But I'm good, I don't need the sample. As a pro, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but we gonna make it work, I always make it work. That was nerve wracking. Okay, this koala is a girl. I don't know, why did they do that? Why would they put a girl koala? Like, how am I gonna finish the tree? Put a girl koala for a baby boy. Come on me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come on me, fly you out to grief. Full speed, so for the belly, yeah. Come on me, leave all of your things, yeah. I'm sweating y'all from putting up the decals. It's not as easy as it seems. But before I show you what I came up with, <laughs> I wanted to put up some new curtains that I got from Amazon. Background is really washed out as you can see because we only have up blinds. So when it's sunny out, it kind of shines through and washes out everything. And I feel like finished product also will look better with the curtains coming down on the side. So I got these blackout curtains. It's in a beige color and I believe it's the 84 or length and these are definitely my aesthetic i love these i don't know how it looks i just know how it looks from online but it comes with um two inside two panels and it's really long and it feels very heavy duty so i'm excited to see how it looks up and then i also got this curtain rod from walmart as you guys seen i'm looking 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 everywhere but it's actually pretty sturdy and for ten dollars I, I understand why it sold out when i went back for another one for the living room because it's a very nice heavy duty curtain rod my husband already mounted curtain rod up as you can see for me so I'm just gonna put these up I'm more than likely gonna have to steam them so excuse that because I'm not steaming it right now all the light that it blocks out it's so much darker in here and this is how it drops it barely touches the floor and that's exactly how i wanted it not bringing it all the way to the top is what made it fall properly if i did like longer curtains i would have like brought it up higher so i'm just gonna have it to the side like that just bringing in some sunlight onto what i came up with here it goes I think it's cute. <laughs> so the tree was actually supposed to be like the centerpiece of it all from what you've seen online, but I decided to just curve it all the way around and then the curtain hides it. So that works out. My animal placement, I don't know. what It came with clouds and stuff, but I didn't add the clouds. I think I might end up wanting to put something up here. So I didn't want to overcrowd it because it already looks a little overcrowded, but then it's cute in a sense. And the great thing about this, it's not permanent. If I end up not liking this before he comes or when he comes, I could take it right off. It doesn't ruin the paint because I removed it a couple of times to fix the placement and it doesn't tear off any of the paint, which is so cool. So this is a very affordable, renter friendly way, an easy way to kind of like spews up your maybe nursery. Let me know what you think about this DIY changing dresser station for a baby boy. I'm loving just how everything coordinates and comes together. I'm loving the organization that I'm starting off with. And I feel like I'm really coming along uh, for baby boy. He's gonna be here in about two and a half months. It's making me feel accomplished. Well, should I talk about I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for mine.